Recently, I was contacted by a company I've actually been curious about for a little while now, and that is GearBest, and they asked if there were some tools and such that I may be interested in taking a look at. And as this is Nerf, and we do mod, and tools are a necessity, I said, yes, let's have a look through. So uh, they sent me this package, and we're gonna take a look and talk through what exactly we got to add to the shop here. Let's see, so we pop this open a little bit to make sure that it was in fact what I thought it was. Let's just go ahead and empty this out right there. That is... Oh, I, I almost forgot some of the things that I ordered. So let's go ahead and start right here. This should be a portable kind of pocket screwdriver kit for like field repairs and stuff like that. So this will just boop, pop right open and whatever kind of uh, screw head I need, whether it's Phillips flat or uh, uh, whatever these are called, I can't remember, but then it's just got a nice little screwdriver base and I can mount whichever one in there that I want. How do I, okay, so I lift up and pull out and then that goes in and I've got a flathead screwdriver. That's kind of awesome. I am actually really pleased about this because I often will bring a screwdriver from the workshop into, you know, put into a bag to bring to a game and then it'll like fall around somewhere in the bag and I can't find it and I forget where I put it. So having this in a nice like case that I can just close up, it snaps together, uh, and just drop this in a bag and have it in my bag all the time. That is awesome. That is something I am super into. And uh, this was actually pretty inexpensive, if I recall. So I'll, I'll have links to all this stuff down below. Um, because yeah, this super into this. I kind of want to build uh, like a field repair kit, kind of uh, like what Walcom has. He has his like box o stuff, including like portable soldering iron stuff. I think that was a really good idea, and I may have to work towards putting something together like that. Uh, so let's see, something simple: XT60 connectors. Always need XT60 connectors. Uh, having a good source to get them is a plus. So these always, always nice to have around. Boom, this one was something that I thought was kind of interesting if it functions the way I think it functions. And it's a little bit different than I thought. Okay, ooh, it's flexible. Ooh, that's nice. So it's a, it's a magnetic board. Uh, okay, I guess that doesn't work. I have screws that will work with it. Is that, uh, where did I put, I'm reorganizing everything. So I'm trying to get into the habit of looking in the right spots for things. It does not feel, do I have to? Interesting, so it's supposed to be a magnetic board for, uh, for screws. Maybe it's not, maybe I thought this was something it isn't. Oh, noted that. Okay, yeah, no, that, there we go. So it is a magnet board for screws, um, which the ones I grabbed didn't work, but the ones out of shells should work. So that's, that is definitely nice. I kind of want to mount this like vertical. Like it seems, I don't know, maybe a bit risky to have the screws that can do that, but it, I mean, it's staying on there. So I don't know, like let's, let's put some more on there. There. I mean, I got to shake decently to, to get that to fall off. But, all right. So that, that's something that I thought was nice. I have like a little tray one, but uh, I feel like it's not secure. So I don't know. Uh, I think I just lost a screw <laughs> because it fell through a crack and I'll have to find that later. Where did it go? Well, while we're here, actually, this is the wrong one. To say we're gonna have to talk through the changes I made to my storage system in the near future here. All right, so we'll close that for now. 
and we'll find a good spot for this guy. It was still attached. I just threw it somewhere. <laughs> the screw was still attached to this, so I guess this does work fairly well. I just couldn't see the black on black, so when I went like this, it just launched the screw somewhere. I'm smart. Uh, all right, let's move. We got a couple more things here. This one is something I'm definitely excited about. It's just a pipe cutter, something to cut pipe, cut uh, whether it's my brass or aluminum or, or whatever. I have been wanting one of these, so this is definitely a plus and definitely something that will be nice to have. It's adjustable to fit what the size that you want and you just clamp it around and spin it and it should uh, cut through that material. So that is awesome to have. This will get used. I still have to uh, do my video on the Fabu can and I haven't been doing it because I haven't been able to find or I haven't spent the time to find the material to nest some things, some burial, some different burial materials to try some brass stuff, to try some CVC. So this will help when I find that stuff to cut it and uh, finally do that video because that thing is awesome. So this definite plus, uh, once we get to use it, of course, we will talk about it a little bit more. And the last thing, the thing that I very, very excited about, because I have not had one and I've wanted one, that is Electronic caliper. This is something that I am, oh, I'm pulling it out the wrong way. Something that I have wanted for a while to be able to measure things, know what things are at and, and be able to, uh, well, that's cool. Nice display, shows you exactly where you're at. Just the tiniest little Looks like in terms of inches, it'll, oh no, I can I can get it pretty pretty minute. So we go to millimeters. We're looking pretty good. So this that's pretty cool. I'm excited about. It. I have wanted calipers for a long time, and finally having them is absolutely fantastic. Um, so you'll be getting to see me use these things a lot or while we're working on projects uh, and just kind of stuff that's things you may not think about but things that are really nice to have like a place to put your screws so you don't lose them as long as you don't you know fling them like I did. Uh, portable stuff that you can bring out to the field with you and have on hand so if you need to pop something open or there's some random screw size or type that you you don't normally have or someone doesn't have you can be the person that saves the day and is able to unscrew whatever thing they have and then of course the calipers that I am just I don't know why it's something so simple that like being able to measure things you wouldn't think is like that huge of a thing maybe, but I don't know, it's really nice to have. So these are all things that you can get on GearBest. Again, all the links will be down below. And this is, again, stuff that I'm just always excited about to add to the things we have access to here to work on things and make things a little bit easier or better. So uh, definitely go take a look through GearBest. Thank you again to them for sending these things my way to take a look at and add to our collection. Uh, so I'm excited to go work on some projects. Let me know what things you think are essential for your workshop, for your projects. What do you think every Nerf modder should have? Because these, these may not be the essentials for you, but for, the, for someone else, they very well may be. With that said, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular and I'll see you next time.